A rapidly changing scientific field needs an informed and respected body to represent it. That's why Pharmic, the pharmaceutical microbiology interest group, bringing together academia and industry, act as the voice of pharmaceutical microbiologists. Members have a wealth of knowledge and experience, and they want to share it. Farmig have realised um, over the last few years that there are many microbiologists in allied industries, medical devices, the National Health Service, who would benefit from the association. So what we're trying to do now is to reach out to those people and share with them some of the expertise that exists within the group. Farmig, a non-profit group, run an extensive range of courses and seminars not available anywhere else. So members and non-members, from recent graduates to lab managers, can get the most up-to-date information. There are a number of ways to examine the uh, distribution of the microbiological data. Farmig committee member Tim Sandal says the courses are truly comprehensive. It's a, it's a massive range of subjects, everything from um, laboratory test methods through to interpretation of standards and pharmacopoeia to analysis of data, um, all, all the tools that you need to equip a modern day microbiologist. Education is a key theme for Pharmig and that's led to an exciting collaboration with the University of Manchester to produce the UK's first ever MSc in pharmaceutical microbiology. There isn't another degree like this and I think it will provide microbiologists with a, a unique opportunity, one that quite frankly they haven't had before um, and it's a, it's a tremendous coup I think for Pharmig um, and one which Manchester uh, University are also very excited about. Also getting the pharmaceutical world excited is the way rapid microbiological methods are revolutionising the field, producing faster, more accurate lab results. Pharmig have been promoting best practice in this still developing area. The methods themselves are based upon you know, using techniques such as lasers or bioluminescence. And the benefits, the benefits are that you now can have almost a real-time assessment of the microbiological quality of the products and the environment in which they're being produced. Pharmig's alliance with the NHS is a high priority. At this state-of-the-art pharmacy manufacturing unit at the Royal London Hospital, patients see the direct benefits. Dina Godward showed me how personalised medicines or batches can be made under the most sterile conditions available, but training for staff is critical. The staff need underpinning knowledge to understand the environment they're working in. So we're obviously trying to minimise risks of having bacteria, fungi within the unit and they need to understand routes of entry of these things. So there's a lot of training issues there that we need to deliver to our staff to make sure they're competent and that's something that Pharmig can help us with. Since Pharmag was founded a decade and a half ago, it's grown rapidly as a national, indeed international, forum. But it's the future the group is really interested in. The new MSC, the NHS Alliance, the development of rapid methods. In a field that's seeing change at a blistering pace, Pharmag exists to guide the professionals through those changes.